Within an XPU tray, of course, we've heard a lot of discussion about hyperscalers customizing XPUs, which Marvell does already. They're also looking to customize everything else in the tray. So that's memory, storage, security, and networking. The network architectures are getting disrupted. The networking protocols or the normal traditional Ethernet protocols are no longer meeting the needs and the feeds of AI. And this is because of the traffic what AI is handling today. As we move into this new era for AI connectivity, we are no longer connecting thousands of GPUs or XPU together. We are connecting hundreds of thousands or even millions of them. For the scale-up networks, you tend to focus a lot on density. And uh, for the scale-out networks, you tend to focus on compatibility with Ethernet data rates. So the electrical pipes tend to be what we call a fast pipe or a fat pipe. It goes higher and higher in data rate. In a scale-up network, they tend to be flatter. They, they tend to stay at about 50 to 60 gigabits per second, but they have more lanes. And then eventually, when you go scale across, the number of lanes get smaller and smaller. You squeeze in a lot more. And for example, we are working on a 1.6 terabit per second single wavelength link for a scale across. Uh, we are at PCIe generation from PCIe 5.0 to PCIe 6.0. And Marvell does have retirement product that can support both the 5.0 and 6.0. AI and cloud workloads are entering the multi-kilowatt chip era. It wasn't too long ago that we were at sub 1,000 watts. Today, we're approaching 2,000 watts and then the not too distant future will be approaching 4,000 watts and beyond. So it shouldn't come as a surprise that power delivery is a bottleneck for scaling performance. 